of the types of pregnancies that can be particularly challenging with multiples is uh, when two or more of the babies share a placenta. And most often we see that in what's called monochorionic uh, diamnetic twin pregnancies. About 15 to 20% of those pregnancies are at risk for developing what's called twin to twin transfusion syndrome. Uh, and this is something that wasn't well recognized until approximately 10 years ago when they really were able to put a diagnosis to it. Because of the large number of multiple pregnancies we take care of here at Methodist, we've really gotten a good body of experience in taking care of these babies uh, and taking care of these pregnancies, ensuring we get an early diagnosis, which allows these babies to, to get treatment and often um, as life-saving for these babies. Without treatment in babies who develop twin to twin transfusion syndrome, there's a mortality rate of 80 to 100%. And in some cases, if we can catch it early enough and get involved, we can reduce that to 5% or less. It's really become one of those things in the last five to 10 years that not every hospital uh, has that expertise. With the group we have here and the five other perinatologists I work with, we've really been able to put together a body of experience taking care of these patients and getting them referred to the right place uh, for, to get surgery when surgery is necessary or to simply observe them and take care of them here when they don't need surgery um, and they just need to be watched. Uh, and so I think that's one of the things that's really important for people to know, especially if they have twins, it's important what kind of twins you have. Um, moms who have twins who share a placenta, it's a much more complicated pregnancy and really needs to be followed by a high-risk doctor.